Next up, we're gonna take a look at these incredibly whimsical pieces by Miguel Valinas. I love these pieces because they take traditional portraiture, you know, outfits that one would choose if they were going to have their portrait painted for posterity, uh, reflecting the clothing of the times, but then the added twist of replacing a head with a perfume bottle or a poof of feathers or a lion's head, um, the peacock. I mean, how fun are these? I need to be a little bit more educated on these pieces. I want to find the gallerist and find out about this artist's process and why they obviously love them so much and chose to rep him. So I found Barbara, who's the gallerist for this wonderful artist. The name of your gallery is? Soraya Karthategi Fine Arts. And where is it located? We have a location by appointment in Midtown on 34th, 35th, oh, between Lex and 3rd. Great for all us New Yorkers. Barbara, I was so drawn to these. I'm kind of feeling this whole portrait trend in art right now. And these certainly are unusual portraits. Tell me a little bit about this artist and his They're process. They're very special. He's an artist from Spain. He lives one hour away from Madrid in a small town called Medina del Campo. And he does not like to leave his village. He's a little bit of a hermit. I love it. And he gets very nervous when he has to go to a big city. He cannot drive. His wife has to drive him. His whole theme is identity, who we are, who we want to be, who we want to portray ourselves, exactly. how we all have like an inner secret characteristic or behavior that no one else can know about or we're scared to show. Right. So in this series, we have the animal theory. Yeah. It's called Second Skins. We have the I love theory. these. It's called Cecine Pa, or This Is Not In French as an homage to Magritte. Oh, right, of course. And then finally, we have the flower theory which is called Roots. And oh, Roots wow. is drawn from where we all come from, like the ground and the flowers and the stems. Dust to dust. Exactly. <laughs> I love them. What is, the, what, what is his process? Is it it's photography? It is photography. He starts by first photographing the human body. The female body is his sister-in-law. The male body is his brother-in-law. Ah. And then for the animals he has within reach, he photographs them alive, like sheep, dogs, ducks, animals he does not have within reach, like the lion peacock. or the peacock. He goes to a natural history museum oh, and photographs a stuffed animal. Taxidermy. For the flowers, he goes to the market and buys bouquets, fresh flowers, lots of them, and photographs them live. And for the objects, like the, like the feathers or the perfume bottle, he also buys the objects and photographs them. Right. Digitally, he puts them together. What's very clever about his work is how he incorporates fashion. His wife helps him style each I love clothing. the fashion. It's very classic, right? And he does a very good job combining the animal head or the feathers or the, or the flowers with the perfect outfit. Right. So he does very beautiful compositions that contrast and empower them. He works very close with detail, so every pleat, every shadow, every curve is taken into account Beautiful. to create the final. I love it. Design. Yeah, as I was saying earlier before you explained everything to me, the clothing really is something that if someone were to have their portrait done by an artist for generations to come, these are outfits that people would actually choose, I 100%. think. you know, They're so classic, and then to have that boom twist of the head or the most important part of part of a person's body to be something totally out of the ordinary it's extraordinary thank you so i love much. them thanks for chatting barbara okay thank you. this is cricket burns of cricket's crush thanking you for watching this series on the trend of portraiture in contemporary art and please be sure to check out our website cricketscrush.com where you can learn more about my services judging staging and selling beautiful home consignments and art.